Hey y'all, if you're using Bard or ChatGPT in your digital marketing strategy, I'm gonna show you right now five things that Bard can do that ChatGPT cannot do. Number one, Bard can actually access the internet, which means it can search for information and provide more comprehensive answers to your questions. So let's try a search like this. What are the top vacation spots in Texas for a family of six on a budget of $300 a day? And how can we lower that cost even more? Right, so remember that these are conversational chatbots. So they're looking for just regular conversational questions and they'll respond back to us in a conversational tone. Well, we know that ChatGPT can produce things like this as well, but where it surpasses ChatGPT is that it's owned obviously by Google. So we can click this magic button here that says Google it and it'll open it up and allow us to search even further quickly inside of Google search results. Moving us right over here, giving us access to the SERPs. Next, Bard can integrate with Gmail, which means it can help you with tasks like writing emails, scheduling meetings, and managing your inbox. You can grant it access to do something like that for you by using a couple of add-ons, your option there, or leveraging the Gmail API. Third, Bard can export the responses, which makes it easy to save and share your work. This has been a huge hurdle for me and a frustration with ChatGPT. I can't just click a button and take the whole thing. Here, you know, normally we would have to highlight it all and then copy and paste. But inside of Bard, it allows you at the bottom to click a little magic button that says export response. Here you go, export to docs, draft in Gmail. Drop in your recipients and press send. Number four, Bard can understand voice prompts, which makes it easier to interact with it when you're on the go or you can't type. So toward the bottom, when you're ready to enter a prompt, it has a use microphone option here. We can click on this little microphone and watch it happen. What are five easy steps to starting with Facebook for my small business? Click submit and it will render its response to us. And lastly, remember that first thing about being able to access the internet? Well, Bard can summarize web pages, which can help you quickly get the gist of a long article, like a blog article, or any lengthy document. So check this out. So for this one, I'm gonna go over to HubSpot, which is one of my favorite go-to spots for learning digital marketing tips. I'm gonna click on how to write an effective email, 14 pro email writing tips. So this is gonna be pretty lengthy, right? Whoa, Moses, yep, this is pretty lengthy. Yeah, I definitely need that summarized. So I'm gonna grab the URL, copy it onto my clipboard, jump back over to Bard and ask it to summarize this page. Can you please summarize the article on? Paste that in there and click submit. Now I'm not gonna time lapse or anything. I'm, I'm gonna keep talking so you know that this is real time. There it is. It is completely summarized that content for me. And you know what? Let's try that exact same prompt just for fun. Let's actually copy it word for word. Can you please summarize this article? Da, 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 da. I'm gonna copy it, jump over to our other chat GPT. I'm gonna paste it in and let's see what its response is. I'm sorry, but as an AI text-based model, I don't have direct access to the internet. Womp womp. So as you can see, when we're doing digital marketing tasks, Bard might be a better choice for some of those opportunities. Be sure to test both of them and remind yourself that they both have alerts, that they're still learning, that it's just a computer modeling language. So some of the content rendered back to us might be inaccurate or not a whole picture. So you'll wanna do your due diligence to be certain that the content that you're extracting and using in your own marketing or your own content is legit and that it's come from a 
authoritative resource in your industry. I hope this has been helpful for y'all. Again, my name is Corey Ashton. Please click like and subscribe. Come back here every single week. I'll be here helping you improve your online marketing inside the world of WordPress. Bye y'all. I should probably not put caramel in my mouth right before I clicked record. Yep. I should make one of those. What are the what are the videos called? Where you listen to people eat? What are those called? Mm. ASMR. Yeah. Do you pronounce that asthma? I don't know. But whatever those are, that's what you just got on the tail end of this uh, video. Hey, you want to say hi on the video? There's a camera right up here. You guys might have seen this guy when he was a little tiny baby. He's not so much anymore. He's getting bigger. How old are you now? Eight years old. How old? Eight years old. Oh, there you go. Eight years old. When, but but you're about to be nine. He's about to be nine. Look out. Say hi to everybody. Right up there. Hello. <laughs> See y'all next time. Good job. Yay.